Okay, what I'm installing here in the box on the new build for the magnetic stir plate is basically the top of this was the power supply that I got the switch from that's on the front. I cut that out and this U-shaped piece if I can get down here this U-shaped piece is the perfect height and the perfect size for this box oddly enough so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it and I'm just screwing it down right now to where it's flush with the bottom because it's the perfect height for me to put the fan on up top and I needed some ventilation for the fan so put me a nice design and pop some holes in it it's not the prettiest looking thing but all I need is a place for the air to go when the fan is blowing so that'll work and I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two screws in and I'm done with this part. Well this is what it looks like once flipped over and this fan is going to be positioned right over these holes here and I'm going to go ahead and feed the wire down this hole in the corner so it keeps it nice and tidy and all the wiring is going to be underneath so it won't even be seen so it's actually a, a nice cleaner design than the last time I tried to build in this box. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, see the other build where I completed the whole thing and had to end up trashing the motor due to overheating problems. But I won't have that problem with this one. Well, this steel platform brought the fan up to within just about one-eighth of exactly where it needs to be vertically. And in order to get this magnet as close to the glass as possible, the only thing I need to do is drop these two shims. These are aluminum and I'm going to go ahead and secure them down on top of the fan and then put my magnet on top and when I put my plate glass over the top I'm going to try and show you but it's under it's just about a sixteenth or so from the bottom of the glass which is fine because it's high enough to grab the steel bar in the container of e-juice but if it's a heavy container and it flexes that glass a little bit that little sixteenth gives me some cushion so just wanted to show you the particulars of this thing in case you're building your own. You need a, a little bit of play so this way if your surface bows it doesn't start contacting the magnet. I've marked out where the fans gonna be positioned and what I'm gonna use to hold this fan down is just contact cement just to get it secured. Later on I might run a, a couple of screws through these holes but I don't feel like messing with that now so in my experience contact cement once you get it on one piece and then the other piece and you put that stuff together boy it's hard to pull that stuff apart so I think it's going to work just fine and I'm going to go ahead and use contact cement here and also use it on all my little plates. Now I do realize that I'm going to lose a little or gain a little thickness but I still have a sixteenth to play with so uh, I think I'm going to be just fine there but I'm going to slap this together pretty quickly with contact cement. Well the fans in place and I would say it's secure 
because I can actually pick the box up so I think we're good to go so I went ahead and coat at the top and my first shim and I'm going to give it about eight nine more minutes and go ahead and slap that shim on and start building up my little platform and top it off with the magnet well I've got both shims on and they're nice and tight so I went ahead and painted the top in a curved shape because my neodymium magnet is a curved shape so I'm going to give that a few minutes to set up and slap that guy on and it's a matter of wiring this thing up well everything is cemented down and I was quite pleased because I put my glass back over and we have still got sorry about that a little bit of clearance try and not much but we still got a little and a little's all I need so as far as I'm concerned I'm good to go so time to wire it up alrighty the moment of truth got my small vessel over here as you can see there's my stir bar so let's turn this guy on and see what we got and seems to have a lot of power pretty fat vortex there looking pretty good and I can see already this thing's gonna be a pain in my ass like my coffee table I'm gonna have to clean this glass all the time let me go ahead and shut this off dump that over in here and let's try the big guy out hopefully it doesn't break my glass bear with me while I align this stir bar and turn her on I'm going to grab my bigger stir bar. I think that's what the other video was made with, was the big one. Well, I've got the larger stir bar in, and I put a light behind the jar so we could see a little bit better. So hopefully everybody will be able to see this, and let me kick her on. There goes the vortex. And that's 800 milliliters. And of course, I'm not going to be mixing up that much e juice, but. Just wanted to show you, uh, demonstrate the, the power of these things. Yeah, that's a quarter, almost a quarter water, so. And we've got straight air all the way down to the uh, stir bar, so. Pretty happy with the build. It actually looks a lot nicer than the other one. This motor is uh, replaced. 
so I'm actually uh, quite pleased the way this turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and uh, there we go. If anyone watching this video is interested in seeing me do a video of actually mixing some e-juice and then using the stir plate to go ahead and mix it up, uh, by all means, leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if you like the video and the build. Got plenty of projects to do. And if y'all enjoy this type of thing, basically making something from nothing for virtually zero cost, subscribe to the channel. We'll do more of these. Florida Fisherman out.